is Maria from designbymaria.com. I am a graphic designer and math paraprofessional, and today we're talking about task cards. I love task cards because they take what would probably be an overwhelming amount of work for some students, and they break it up into bite-sized pieces. So you just complete one equation at a time, and then move on to the next one, instead of trying to put a huge worksheet in front of students. Task cards are very simple to prepare, and there's so many ways that you can use them. You can buy them off of Teachers Pay Teachers or Etsy from a seller like me, or you can make your own. To make your own, just choose a worksheet that you want your students to complete, cut out each equation separately, and glue it onto a 3 by 5 card. And the same thing will still apply. I'm going to share five ways to use task cards. First, they are great for bell ringers, warm-ups, or exit tickets. Place one of the task cards on a projector and have the class complete it. After everybody completes it, you can discuss it as a class. Number two, task cards are great for early finishers or independent work. You could laminate these and have them ready to go or have them as a review. You could even provide the students with the answer key if you want them to be able to self-check. Number three, they are great for stations, rotations, centers, small groups. Use them as a review, use them with other task cards or other worksheets and assignments as well. The number four is scoots. Scoots are a lot of fun. You give each student one of the task cards and give them some time to complete it. When it's about time that most students are done, then you say scoot and they either have the students move chairs or pass the task card to the next person until they've completed all of the task cards. This is nice because students don't get stuck on one equation for too long. Number five is my personal favorite, which is have the students move to each task card. So one way to do this is similar to the scoot. You tape the task cards up around your classroom and have the students walk around and solve the equations so they're moving as they go. The other way to get them moving is to place the task cards in bins and have the students get up, grab a task card, complete the task card, and then put it back and get a new one. I love these ways because it gets students moving around and up and out of their desks instead of just sitting there doing a worksheet. So make sure to comment below what your favorite way to use task cards is. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks.